Hello everybody, so today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can use this cool new free tool called Pika, which actually allows you to create videos from text and image prompts. It's a really cool software, you can start it for free on Discord, and in this video, I'm not just gonna show you how you can start using it, but actually, what kind of prompts you can use to tweak the outputs, because to be honest, some of the outputs that you get from this tool right now are not the best, unless you know how to prompt it. This is called prompt engineering, and if you do this correctly, you can get way better answers. So I'm gonna be showing you how to do this today. Let's jump into it. All right, so first things first, you're just going to go search for Pika Labs Discord on Google or any browser. And once you get there, you're just going to get to this page. And once you're on it, you're gonna accept the invite. It's free to join again. All you have to do is create a Discord account. And once you're done with that, you can start using it. Once you're inside of the channel, all you have to do is click on any of these rooms here, generate one, generate two, generate three, et cetera, and it's going to take you to here, and you're gonna have the ability to hit the create button and start to actually enter in prompts. I've got a couple of interesting prompts already queued up here, so I'm gonna go with this one, which is chocolate sauce slowly dripping over a stack of pancakes, highlighting texture and glossiness. If you see here, you can see parameters, right? So Parameters Motion 2, AR 16.9, GS 15. These are different parameters that essentially help you get better results. I'll go into this later, but just keep this in mind as I show you how this works. If you've been paying attention, you would have just realized that I forgot to hit the prompt action. So what you do is you select Create, and then once you have that down, then you actually can start to use it. So you hit Create, and then you put prompt in. I forgot to do that, so we're gonna plug that in now. We're gonna hit enter, and this is what's going to happen. You definitely wanna give it some time because a lot of people are using this. Um, it's already still taking me a few moments to get this created, but I mean, look at the amount of volume. There's just so many people who are using it. Now, if you don't like the output, you can always do this, which will regenerate for you, or you can cancel the request at any time. Um, so I'm just waiting for it to be created. It's gonna take like about 10, 15 seconds uh, to get something like this created, and here you go. So here is the output, which is chocolate sauce slowly dripping over a stack of pancakes. You can hit the up button or the down button depending on how this turns out. So I'm gonna click on this, we can watch it together, and we can see if it's good or bad. It's actually not that bad. I've done this a couple times with the same prompt and it was very, very different responses each time. So I'm just gonna hit thumbs up because it actually looks pretty good. So I'm gonna hit thumbs up and that's going to inform them that they're doing a good job. Now what you really wanna do is test your different prompts because your, your imagination can go in any direction you want here and different prompts can get you a very different amount of things. So I would just go test out as much as you can, try as many different things, throw as many things, uh, throw as many darts in the board as you want. It's gonna get you a variety of different results and you might as well test as many as possible. Also, as promised, I'm gonna show you how to actually create better videos using parameters. So I'll explain what each of the parameters are right now so you know how to use them. So you can essentially see the different parameters here that you're gonna to add to the prompts. So this one here is motion, which explains how you're going to change the motion. So for example, it will control the intensity of the motion. If it's a one, that means that it's not gonna be moving very much. If you have a higher value like a two, it's gonna be moving a lot more. Also, there's the aspect ratio, which basically, uh, if you're familiar with film or just, just photography, it'll change how the actual frame of the image is shot. So a one by one is essentially a square, whereas you can do uh, different formats like 16 by nine, which is uh, the ratio for widescreen. And the last parameter would be guidance scale, which essentially affects how closely related the result will adhere to your text prompt. So you would put dash motion and then the value dash AR and then the aspect ratio and then dash GS for the guidance scale. And this will get you a variety of different responses and outputs. So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna plug this in one more time. I'm gonna hit create and then I'm gonna prompt it. I'm gonna put this in there and you can see here the parameters are motion dash two, AR one by one and then GS 18. I'm gonna hit prompt and then we're gonna wait to see what that cues up for me. All right, so created this for me. I'm gonna go and check this out. That is pretty remarkable, not gonna lie. That's a pretty good result. Uh, I love that. And what do you think? That's a thumbs up, thumbs down. I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. I really like this. 
Um, I'm also going to hit regenerate and you can see the differences between the exact same prompt if you do it a second time. So I'm going to hit regenerate and we'll see what happens. So as you can see, it puts it back in the queue below and we're essentially waiting for it to be outputted. All right, so here's what it came up with. Let's check it out. Wow, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Although some of the physics are a little bit off. It looks pretty neat. I think it looks nice. Um, you know, if you're using this as a B-roll for a video, I don't know if people really would even uh, notice it too much. It looks pretty passable. So I'm going to hit thumbs up again and it will just train the model and make it better for us. So I created another prompt here, which I'm going to plug in, which is a futuristic city, a whimsical scene of flying cars and floating buildings in a futuristic city with the parameters of motion one, aspect ratio 16 by nine, and the GS of 18. Let's plug that in and see what happens. All right, let's check it out. So we got this here. This is what it came up with. Honestly, not that bad. Again, I mean, B-roll, I could totally see myself using this for B-roll. I mean, you can really let your imagination run wild with this. It's pretty neat. Now, there are so many different business applications for something like this. I've mentioned B-roll, but also you can use it to enhance uh, you know, different things. If you wanted to upload an image, which I'm going to show you how to do right now, uh, you can use it to uh, enhance that and create it into a video and add additional kinds of shots to it. Um, if you've used or seen the new Amazon AI that they're rolling out, they're going to be allowing you to basically create videos from different kinds of text prompts as well to enhance your products or enhance if you give it an image, it'll basically create a video from that too. So um, this whole AI video thing is going in some really cool directions and I'm personally really excited to see where it all ends up. Now, I obviously had to pick Pikachu for this because of the name of the tool, Pika. Uh, so I'm gonna download this image and I'm gonna plug it into uh, Discord and see what it comes up with. So I just took that image of Pikachu. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna upload it here, right? So I'm just gonna go grab this. I'm gonna go grab screenshots and I'm just gonna grab this screenshot here and I'm gonna go plug this in. So it's going to be really easy. I just went and I press enter and it's now generating the video uh, from that image and we'll see what comes up with now this is a little bit freaky but this is what it came up with so it animated the image now again that is what they are promising essentially they're saying that they're going to animate the image that you give it so i mean i think for what it is it's good but i'm gonna have to give it a thumbs down because i don't really understand why they animated it that way of course it's ai so i gotta cut it some slack but it is pretty interesting to see how it was produced now, if you want to export this this new video, you just hit download and it will then be sent to your downloads folder. Now, do keep in mind that they do have watermarks on these now at this point in time, um, but that's just because it's in beta and in the future that might change. One thing I would also encourage you to do is just look at what some of the other people are creating. That's also the really neat part is because this person here says a silver bullet passing through a window and breaking it, and they actually put the different parameters. So you can kind of learn what other people are doing from here. See birds sitting calmly, leaves moving motion one image is from an image i believe so uh that is pretty cool um so you can essentially pick from these different things as well you can also go to the showcase and see what other people are working on see some really interesting videos that have been created from either images or just from different prompts anyways i hope you found this uh, video helpful and informative and i definitely hope that you start using pika labs ASAP, it's a really cool tool. I've been using it all day now, and uh, I gotta say, it's pretty inspiring to see where everything's headed with AI. If you like this video, feel free to like, subscribe, share it, do whatever you want. You know, I'd, I'd definitely be creating more videos like this, um, and I wanna try to help you grow and scale uh, all your different AI technologies and tools and anything that you're building. So uh, stay tuned for more. If you have any comments uh, or questions about this, video or things you wanted to ask or know, feel free to comment below. I will definitely respond to them. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.